chapter 1, verse 10, through chapter 62, verse 3. I will greatly rejoice in the Lord. My whole being shall exult in my God. For he has clothed me with the garments of salvation. He has covered me with the robe of righteousness, and the bride groom decks himself with garlands, and has provided thorns himself with new jewels. For as the earth brings forth its shoots, and as a garment causes what is sown in it to spring up, so the Lord God will cause righteousness and praise to spring up before all the nations. For Zion's sake I will not keep silent, and for Jerusalem's sake I will not rest, until her vindication shines out like the dawn, and her salvation like a burning torch. The nations shall see your vindication, and all the kings your glory, and you shall be called a new name that the mouth of the Lord will give. You shall be a crown of beauty in the hand of the Lord, and a royal diadem in the hand of your God. Our second reading is from the book of Galatians, chapter 4, verse 4 through 7. And when the fullness of time had come, God sent his son, born of a woman, born of the law, in order to redeem those who are under the law, so that we might receive adoption as children. And because you are children, God is sending spirits of his Son into our hearts, crying, Abba, Father, to you are no longer a slave to the child, but the child is also an heir through God. The word of God, word of life. Praise Praise God. God. 